And folks who are tuning in online, first welcome. Well, welcome to everyone here. I'm Stephen Hegedus, the director of the Capit Center. Um, it's wonderful to have so many people tuning into this talk remotely, as well as uh, being here in person. Uh, for those of you new to the Capit Center, uh, the Capit Center is an interdisciplinary uh, research center focused on STEM education. We've been in existence for oh, just over five years. The colloquial series has been going on for that length of time as well. Um, and what we are aiming to do in the colloquial series is bring together people from a wide variety of disciplines that have some in, uh, interest in STEM education or education more broadly. Um, and we, this is uh, the middle of our year. And so uh, those of you who want to be on our list to uh, have a... Um, uh, to be informed about upcoming events that we have here. We have a variety of, uh, of interesting events that go on, uh, symposia, colloquia, as well as many other research projects. Those of you interested in keeping up to date, send an email to capitcenter at umassd.edu. Capit Center being all one word. Uh, also, uh, for folks who are tuning in online and want to ask Yanir a question, the, the Skype handle, we're using Skype for folks to use um, to send us a text is Caput Center Colloquium, correct, Brian? Caput Center Colloquium, all one word, and um, uh, and uh, uh, um, someone here will be responsive to uh, your questions. Those on, who are online, there is a, about a thirty-second delay in uh, the live speak speech and the and what you hear. So please be aware of that. If you, if you think there's a, 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 no, one's, no one's hearing you or listening to you, um, that there is, a, there is a slight delay, okay? Um, Yanir cannot be here physically in person today, but it's a great honor for me to introduce him remotely whilst we're streaming as well. Um, uh, at his, uh, you're up in Cambridge or in your home somewhere. I'm at, I'm at home. Uh, you're at home. That's okay. um, let me just give you a brief background um, to uh, of Yanir. I mean, it's a great honor for me personally to introduce him. I met Yanir several years ago, and, and your father. Uh, uh, you were down in, uh, at the, uh, the old offices in Chase Road, and um, they've been working with Jim Caput for quite a while on various projects. So um, it's really nice that, uh, that Yanir has agreed to do this, and I know he's uh, got a lot of very interesting things to say to get us thinking uh, today. Yanir is the founding president of the New England Complex Systems Institute. His research focuses on developing complex systems concepts and applying them to, div to diverse areas of scientific inquiry and to major social problems. He has worked on fundamental properties of evolution and learning, developed quantitative models for a wide variety of complex system behaviors, including network dynamics, market instability, and the current financial crisis. He has also applied fundamental principles and quantitative models to understanding problems and opportunities in the prevention of ethnic violence, global development, healthcare system transformation for effectiveness and efficiency, education system reform, and military operations in asymmetric warfare. He has advised government agencies, non-governmental organizations, and corporations and he has written such books as Dynamics of Complex Systems, published in 1997, and Making Things Work, and I've seen some copies of it around the table in the past few weeks, so I know people here at least have been uh, studying and, and, and reading your, your work in here. So um, this is going to be an interactive session. Uh, he does not have slides, um, so I'm gonna hand it over to him, um, and uh, we're going to the, um, the camera will be panning back and forth to people uh, as well, for those of you online. So uh, I hope we're going to have uh, a really engaging and productive uh, dialogue this afternoon. Thank you, Yanir, so much for agreeing to participate and welcome. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Um, can you hear me all right? Is everything uh, coming through? Very yes. well, yes. Um, so f first of all, you know, I, I really appreciate the opportunity that you've given me to, to share with you some of my thoughts. I, I'm really going to be informal about it. I, my experience is that what I mean, you're 
engaged in education and you're passionate about it, I'm sure, but any audience that we speak to or that I've spoken to about education, uh, immediately there's engagement and dialogue because everyone cares about education very deeply. We are all parts of uh, the education system one way or another. We care about our children and our children are in the education system and, and, and it doesn't take much for us to, um, uh, to get engaged in this conversation. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say a few words about sort of the background to this talk. Uh, and uh, really just to say a few words about Jim Caput, who is, uh, whose name is, is the name of the center. Unfortunately, of course, we lost him a few years ago. Uh, uh, he he is the one who brought me into the topic of education. Um, he came to our international conference on complex systems and, uh, and engaged with me in this topic. Now, Jim was an outstanding person to interact with him. Many of you probably knew him personally, but for those of you who didn't, uh, I just need to say a few words expressing my um, uh, feelings about uh, the interaction with him, he was just a fabulous person to interact with and engage with. Um, he, uh, we, we valued interaction very much. He became a co-faculty and then a board member of the New England Complex Institute and served in that capacity until we lost him uh, a, a number of years ago. Um, the experience of working with him and interacting with a that surrounded him and engaged with him in this uh, uh, study of education and then advancing education um, uh, led me to write a couple of chapters about it in my book, Making Big Work, which some of you may have looked at. I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things that I said in that book and also some other topics. Um, but I really, I, there's no doubt that this talk is dedicated to uh, Jim. Uh, uh, we, uh, I still miss him since the time uh, of his uh, timely departure. We haven't really been able to develop a strong connection to education, despite the fact that many people are, of course, interested in complex systems into that area, and uh, uh, and uh, we uh, really miss him, of course, both personally and professionally. Um, another couple of words I want to say is acknowledge my mother, Miriam Ariam. Uh, be, uh, for the background in this area that she gave me. She's a developmental psychologist and uh, really gave me a lot of, I mean, she taught teachers for many years at Lesley College, you know, it's now Lesley University, um, and um, she uh, uh, taught me a lot about recognizing the importance of, you know, good teaching and how to relate students uh, to treat children with respect and each child as special. And really that's the theme that I'm going to be uh, uh, talking about today. It very much relates to ideas of complex systems and education. Uh, so I just wanted to acknowledge that uh, again. Okay. So I want to talk about things. And again, this is informal. Uh, please interrupt me. I hope you will. Um, I'm not an expert in education. I haven't done a literature 